Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this little do-it-yourself, no-sew, lor pabang, shape long, or pom-pom hat. If you're interested, go ahead and stay tuned. So first, you're going to need some foam. I bought this off Amazon. I will put a link to this below. You will also need a scrap piece of black fabric, um, just enough to cover the top of your hat. Next, you will also need some pom-poms of various colors. I did buy these from Amazon, so the link will be below. Disclaimer, they are a little bit too big for the baby hat I'm making, so I did have to trim around the edges to make them smaller for this little hat. Then you'll also need some chicane fabric or some black and white fabric. I will put a link to the Facebook seller that I bought these from. So the next few items I'm going to go over are definitely optional. Um, this here is a trim for the top of the hat if you want to decorate your hat. I have bought this from a Facebook seller which I can link below a long time ago. Had great plans for it, didn't do anything with it so I decided to use it for this hat. Also optional are beads and some coins which I'm going to put in the front of the hat. You also need a hot glue gun, thread, needle, and a scissor. So first things first, you're going to go ahead and measure the circumference of the person that you're going to be making this little hat for. I'm making it for my two month old baby. Um, she measured out to be 15 inches. So I did go ahead and add a little bit more. Um, I cut a 15 and a half uh, inch long foam by three inch high. And once you have that cut, what you're going to go ahead and do is just hot glue gun the edges of your piece of foam together like so. Next, go ahead and lay your foam piece that you've glued together on top of your scrap piece of black fabric. Go ahead and trace that around. We're going to be cutting this out. After you cut out the black scrap fabric, go ahead and lay your piece of trim if you want and cut a piece that's slightly bigger and then we're going to go ahead and cut this as well. Once you're done, it'll end up looking something like this. This will actually be the top piece of your hat. So this next step is to attach the base of the hat to the top of the hat. Uh, for me, it worked best to put hot glue gun all around the base and then just sticking it onto the top of the hat upside down. So you should end up with something that looks like this. At this point, you would want to go ahead and trim off any excess on the hat. So it looks like this. So the next step is to attach the pom-poms. I alternate going on top and then on the bottom so that it looks really full like so. Go all the way around and you should have an end product that looks like this. So the next step for us is to attach the sheet gang fabric. So I cut out a piece the same length as my hat all the way around and just attach with hot glue and you should end up with something that looks like this. So the next step is to go ahead and just add the beads and the coin to the front of your hat. We are almost done. And then you can add as many strands of beads and coins as you'd like. So the end product should look something like this after you've added all your beads and coins. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Thank you!